Holidays Hockey fans, good evening and welcome to the historic Hibby Memorial Arena and Hockey Bites Cancer Awareness Night. Tonight's game features the International Falls Broncos facing off against your Hibby Chisholm Blue Jackets. And now let's meet the starting lineups. First for the Broncos, starting a goal tonight, junior goaltender number 30, Max Marcotte. Defense. Junior defense, number eight, Tucker Hill. And left defense, senior defense, number five, Travis Keeler. Starting at right wing, junior winger, number 11, Jordan Smith. And left wing, sophomore winger, number 22, Parker Sivanen. Starting at center, senior center number 10, Justin Bench. And the remainder of the Broncos, head coach by George McDonald, assisted by Chad Baldwin, Eric Olson, and John McDonald. And now, let's meet the starting lineup for your Hibbing Chisholm Blue Jackets. Starting at goal tonight, senior goaltender number one, Vitek Bostecki. We're about ready to get this one underway. Blue Jackets will be moving right to left. Blue Jackets and their opponents have each scored a goal in the first period. Meanwhile, International Falls has outscored their opponents 6-5 to five through three games. Doug Dietrich here. Glad to have you along on a Friday evening. Again, come on down. It's Hockey Fights Cancer Night. We've got some neat raffles, including the Minnesota Wild Ryan Suter signed jersey which will go to one lucky recipient tonight. Broncos are going to be all gathered around their goaltender, Marcotte. Meanwhile, the Blue Jackets have already hit the bench. Should be a good matchup. Broncos beat us twice last year, beat us up pretty good, so hopefully we can pay them back. Jacket boys are already at center ice. Allison will eventually take the draw with Besh. And here we go. Game two for the Blue Jackets is underway. A faceoff control by no one comes to the near board. And it's going to be shoved into the Blue Jackets zone where the Blue Jackets recover. With the puck for the Blue Jackets is Jan Sitch. Got it to the blue line. It's tipped in by Allison. Quickly down the other way. Here comes Hell. Hell gets a shot off. Saved by VTech. Another save by VTech. Puck loose in front. And now it's cleared away by the Blue Jackets. And a whistle. I think we had too many men on the ice to start off the bat. They, were, they wanted to do a line change, but then Allison had to pop back, and I think a couple others did. And on the power play goes the ball. And going to the bench for the Blue Jackets is going to be Keegan Fink to serve the too many. And this will come 25 seconds into it. 
Well, Blue Jackets need to kill this off. 80%, one for five. Power play, 0 for 11 for the Broncos, though. That just trickled in on the goaltender from the right circle, and VTech just reached down and froze it. Face off between Gonzalez and Allison to the left of VTech. Controlled by the Broncos. Shot sails wide from Dremel. Out to the right point, Kaler. Half wall right side to Gonzalez. Pucks now in behind the Blue Jacket. Sanborn golfs it around. And it's going to be sent down the ice by Allison. Kaler back to pick it up in the Broncos zone. He's behind the net. Still a minute 23 to go in the Bronco power play. With the puck, skating out the center is Dremel. He's across the blue line. Dremel, high slot, shot deflected out of pull. Just underway, 15.50 to go in the first. Blue Jackets took a penalty 25 seconds into this. They got caught on trying to make a line change during a Bronco rush. Had too many people on the ice. Face out to the right of VTech. Again, it was Gonzalez taking a draw with Allison. Puck's going to be cleared out to neutralize. Dremel with the puck. Dremel in his own zone, almost lost an edge. He's one of the captains for this squad. Tried to work it ahead. Zimba took it away at center and sent it back deep. Marcotte will stop it behind the Bronco net. Back to pick it up is Kaler. 54 seconds to go in the Bronco power play. Right wing pass. He'll set it up with speed. Here comes Wicklund. Wicklund cuts in a shot. Ooh, that just went right through the blue paint. Back to Dremel out at neutral, and he'll just send it right back into the Blue Jacket zone. Sanborn along the end boards, tried to clear it out, unable to do so. Gonzalez cutting in the goal up under the shoulder. And it's that's actually Wickland on the goal, and it's 1-0 on the power play goal for the Broncos. And for Wickland, that's his third of the year. Blue Jackets trail one or nothing. This will come at 153. And it is unassisted. Well, we get to stay out of the penalty box. I was talking to Justin earlier, and he said that was one of the keys they've been talking about. They need to stay out of the box. Clear back to the Bronco blue line off a of deflection. Broncos will center it into the Blue Jacket zone. Into the left corner, going after for the Blue Jackets is going to be Lehman. And he'll work it ahead. Nice move as he gets it to Fink. Fink cuts in, right circle. Oh, and it's poked off his stick at the last minute by Sari. Tied up near the right corner in the Broncos zone. And the Broncos will come away with it. Broncos to center. Carried across by Besh. Besh just throws it towards the net, goes in behind the net. Lehman will pick it up. Lehman ridden off the plane near the left corner by Sivanen. Kept alive at the left point by the Broncos. And now Allison picks it up. Cabina, left wing pass, sets it up for Edmonds. Here's Edmonds to center. He'll flip it in, line change, Blue Jackets. 14.04 to go in the first. one nothing. International Falls shots 4-0 in favor of the Broncos. That's a high pass. Knocked down, though, by Bash. Bash a backhand on, save by Vitek Bozdecki, and he'll just freeze it. So with 13.53 to go in the first, Blue Jackets trail 1-0 in this huge section matchup and the Iron Range Conference matchup. Face off to the right of Vitek. Throw by the Blue Jackets, and they'll clear it down the ice. Broncos will go back to pick it up. It's Kaler in his own left circle. Bank it off the near boards, out to center. He hooked up with Benneke. Dumped down in. Sent back to the right corner by Dremel. Battle continues near the half wall on the right side. Coming away with it for the Blue Jackets with Sanborn. He'll send it around the other way. It's going to be picked up by Kemp. Here's Kemp. Got some help. Oh, and he tried to get it to Zimba. And actually defected off a Bronco player right in the goalie, Marcotte. So Marcotte's smart. He just reached down and throws it. Base off to the left of Marcotte. 
On the draw for the Blue Jackets was Pink. Controlled by Helen the Broncos. Long pass out to center. Here's Gonzalez. Can't quite control it. Centering pass. A tip wide by Wickland. Picked up for the Blue Jackets. It's Pink. Pink rolls it into the Broncos zone, but the Broncos center right back to the Blue Jacket blue line where Cabina has it. He'll set it up over on the left side to Edmonds. Edmonds can't get into the zone, though. Coming in to help out is Cabina. Play continues right near the left point. Now it trickles into the Broncos zone, but quickly the Broncos send it right back out. That pass was off a Bronco player's back. I want to say that was Jan not Janicic, but uh, Gonzalez. So far, I've seen a couple of really high passes from the Broncos. Meanwhile, the puck's in the right corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Blue Jacket taking the body a little bit now. As going in with Sivanen. Off the nice check by Lehman. Back to the left point. Shot blocked and knocked down by Kemp, but he lost the stick in the process. He regains control. Nets off its morning. 12-5 to go in the first. Blue Jackets still looking for their first shot of this game. And they trail 1-0 and a power play goal by Wickland at 153. Face off to the right of VTech. Tied up in the circle, and the Broncos come away with it, though. They get the shot off, and another goal. Oh, and it hit the post and popped out. I thought that was in for sure. Boy, did we catch a break there. Because that got by VTech, but it bounced right off the post and came right out. The Jackets, Janicic sends it around to the half wall on the left side. Pucks up center. It'll be back in into the Blue Jackets zone. That time by Benneke. Blue Jackets trying to set something up. Edmonds tried to force speed it up to Fink, and it's knocked right back into the right corner of the Blue Jackets zone. Trying to switch to Sanborn. Sanborn banks it off the left wing boards. Back down to the Bronco blue line. Here come the Broncos. It's Kaler. Kaler across the line offside. 11-12 to go in the first. 1-0 International Falls. Face off at center, Allison and Dremel. Allison wins the draw. Long pass to Allison at the Bronco Blue Line. He'll set it over, or tried to set it over to Zimba. That didn't connect, and the Broncos broke it up. Broncos Dremel back the other way. Dremel. Tried to set up his teammate Benneke. Benneke with it. Centering pass. Knocked away by the Blue Jackets. Cabina to the blue line. It'll be just sent deep from the left point. And it trickles out in front of the net. Blue Jackets come away with it. Here's Zimba. Cross ice pass to Kemp. Rolls off his stick. And it's knocked away by Kaler. Quickly back the other way. It's Benneke. Benneke. Then got it up to his teammate Skiff's dad, but that was poked off his stick, and the Blue Jackets get it out the center. Bringing it across on the right side is Sari. Great shot from the right circle glove save by Vitek Pozdecki. So Blue Jackets still looking for their first shot of the game. It's 1-0 Broncos with 10.24 to go in our first period. Shot 7-zip in favor of the Broncos. Face off to the left to Pozdecki. Comes out near the right point. Kaler shots blocked, and here we go. We've got an opportunity coming the other way is Edmonds. Edmonds left circle. Shot. He went up high, and it went up over the top of the net. Looked like he was going for that one corner. And carried in offside again by Wickland. 10.07 to go in our first. one nothing Broncos. They scored early in a power play goal, 153. Wickland picked up his third. Face off controlled by the Broncos. They'll just send it into the Blue Jackets zone. At the half wall on the right side. Kept alive by Kaler. Kaler 
gives it right back to Zimba. Zimba spin move, spins around, sends it up to the blue line diving was Allison. He tipped it into the Bronco zone, and now they'll fire it down the ice for an icing. 9.46 to go, period number one. And again, it's a 1-0 lead in favor of the Broncos. Knocked in the left corner. Sent around. Nice check by Sanborn as he took out Jordan Smith. Puck near the right wing half on the Blue Jacket zone. Poked down the ice to neutralize by Zimba. And then fired right back in by Schultz. Sanborn trying to work it ahead to Allison. But Zimba will pick it up near the Bronco blue line. Left circle. His shot's deflected into the left corner. Zimba avoids a heavy check. Now Kemp along the inboard. Centering pass. No one home. And it's going to come all the way back down. Right on... Vitek. Vitek will slow it down, send it in the right corner. Sanborn has it. Turnover up near the blue line. Centering pass, backhand put on by Skistad, one of the many seniors on this squad, but easily directed away by Vostecki. Cleared back down in the Broncos zone. Kaler gets there first as he was being chased by Edmonds. Kaler with the puck at center. It's in his skates, and then he'll send it deep. At the half ball on the left side. Kept in the Blue Jacket zone. Left circle. Down to the left corner. Layman along the end boards. He lost control of the puck. Centering pass comes out up high. Blocked in front by Marshawk. And we got injured Blue Jacket and that off its mooring. That happened behind the play. Hopefully Kamina's okay and he's getting up. Off to the left of Bozdecki. Controlled by the Broncos. Shot doesn't get through from out near the right point from Hell. And behind the net, Wickland back to Hell up high. Hell gets a shot off, directed into the near right corner by Vitek. Allison picks it up along the end boards, gives it the left circle to Zimba. Zimba with the puck. Back to Allison. It's an escape. Bouncing puck at center. Zimba had it. Zimba still with it, trying to fight through everybody. Kemp sends it over on the right side, down in the right corner. Back to Kemp. Oh, and a nice big right pad save by Markov. Boy, what a nice pass coming out of that right corner, though. Oh, we turned it over, and that was right off the crossbar from Wicklin. We turned it over on a nonchalant clear, and Wicklin picked it up in the right circle and let rip with a wrist shot and went right off the crossbar and up and out of play. What a... What a nice pass, though, by Allison to get it right back to Kemp, who was breaking in and snapped off a quick shot. Marcotte had to be quick with that right pass. Face off to the right of VTech. Controlled by the Blue Jackets. They'll send it around to the near boards. Out near the right wing half wall. And now carried out to center. Here's Marshawk across the line. Marshawk right circle. Oh, and a loose puck to the right of the goaltender. And crashing in was Keegan Fink. And he just couldn't get a stick on it because he had some open space to shoot it. Taylor battling along his own end boards for the Broncos at the left wing half wall. That's tipped out, turned over, and a shot goes wide from Edmonds. Blue Jackets putting a little pressure on. Rattles around up near the left point. Taken away by Allison. Cabina, a slap shot, and a right pad saved by Marcotte. Shots now 11-3 in favor of the Broncos. Got 6.43 to go for his period. 1-0. High falls. Kaler in his own right corner, tied up by Allison. Still tied up as they battle for that loose puck. Kemp's there as well, fighting with Schultz. That's going to be cleared down the ice, but this one's going to be right on net again, I think. And it is, and Vitek will just freeze it. 
So Blue Jackets will be able to do a line change. You got 622 to go in the first. In this big Iron Range Conference matchup, Section 70 matchup. Here from the historic Jimmy Memorial Arena on Hockey Fights Cancer Night. 1 0 Bronco. Face off to the right of VTech. Getting tossed is Dremel. Allison will now take that draw with Benicky. Shot right off the face off goes wide of the mark. Near the right corner. Zimba sets it in behind the net. Bouncing puck right in front of the goal. Backhand put on, and VTech still out there. Puck loose, left circle. Blue Jackets can't clear. Here's a wrist shot from the blue line that goes wide, and VTech just flattens out to his right to get that loose puck to freeze it. Erickson didn't get a whole lot on that wrist shot from the blue line, and it was wide of the mark. So six minutes exactly to go in our first period. It remains 1-0 Broncos on an early power play goal at 153 from Wicklin. Pucks in behind the Blue Jacket net. Cleared around to the left wing half while Marshawk has it. Marshawk puts it out to neutralize. Broncos send it right back into the Blue Jacket zone. Shots on goal, 13-3 in favor of the Broncos. They'll work it ahead. Here come the Blue Jackets. It's Fink. He'll flip it into the Broncos zone. Getting their first throw to get that loose puck is Wicklin. Here's Wicklin working down the left side. He's out the center. He'll stick handle across the blue line. To the high slot. Gets a shot off. Hits the side of the net. Wicklin. He'll battle along the end boards with Janicic. Or excuse me, over near the left corner with Janicic. Now it's going to be grabbed by Fink. And Fink flips it down the ice for an icing. With 5.10 to go in our first, it remains 1-0 Broncos. Base off going to be to the, the right of VTech. Controlled by the Broncos. A shot right off the bat, but didn't go anywhere for Wicklin as it was well wide. There's Kemp at center to Allison. Battle along the half. On the left side in the Bronco zone. Killer comes away with it. He'll skate in behind the Bronco net. He'll send it around. On the right wing side, it's going to be picked up by Sivanen. Sivanen sends it deep. In the left corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Wayman tried to clear it. Centering pass, bouncing around, and it's flipped up and out of play. 4.37 to go. Broncos lead 1-0 here late in the first period. Face off to the right of VTech. Controlled once again by the Blue Jacket. Sanborn couldn't clear it. Kept alive at the left wing half ball. That's knocked up and out of play on a shot with the blocker in the paddle by a VTech post decky. Face off to his right once again. Puck loose, and now Marshawk has it. Marshawk, centering pass, gets it over to Fink. Here's Fink across the blue line, sets it up for Edmonds. Edmonds is shot, and it flipped up over the net. Kind of a weird save by Marcotte, but he made the save nonetheless. Quickly the other way come the Broncos. They'll just dump it into the Blue Jacket zone and give chase. Taylor tried to go after it. Cabino avoided him. Pucks out at neutral ice. Coming off the bench, picked up by Allison. Here's Allison sticks in and is poked off his stick by Smith. Along the end boards, Allison goes down. And it's going to be clear down the ice. Should be an icing on the Broncos, and it is with 3.48 to go in our first period. And it remains a 1-0 Bronco lead. Base house going to be to the left of junior goaltender. Max Marcotte. Dremel and Allison on the draw. Allison wins it, but it does come out to neutralize. It'll be sent back in by the Blue Jackets. Janicic. Right wing pass. Broncos with the puck. It's Benicky. Benicky works it up ahead. Now to Sari. Sari shot sails wide. 
Lowry along the end boards. Allison took it away from him. Allison will send it around to the near side to Zimba. Zimba doesn't know where the puck is. It was in their skates. And now Zimba will come away with it. Zimba, cross ice pass to Kemp. Kemp has to stop and grab it. Couldn't quite control it. He'll send it deep into the Broncos zone. Zimba centering pass. Allison couldn't quite get to it. He was camped out in front of the net. Kemp with the puck. Kemp's got some space. Kemp right circle and he tried to set it up a pass. Maybe should have just taken that shot. But 2.57 to go. It's back down in the Blue Jackets zone. Sanborn with the puck. Long pass. Tipped in by Allison. Right in on net. Marcotte will just hold on to it because coming in was Zimba from the backside. 2.45 to go. First period. 1-0 Broncos. Shots 13 to 4. Face off to the right of Marcotte. Put it around by the Broncos and tipped down the ice. Wickland giving chase. Cabina gets there first. Cabina with the puck. Fights off one check but lost the puck. Back to Cabina. Cabina backpedals and behind the Blue Jacket net. Near the left corner. Now chipped out by Marshawk. Here's Marshawk to center. Back the other way. Wicklin had him. He got the pass from Hell. Hell tied up in the right corner. Wicklin back to the right point. Erickson had it. Sends it back down to the right corner of the Blue Jacket zone. And the Blue Jackets try to clear, unable to do so, kept alive by Jermaine. In the right corner of the Blue Jackets zone with 1.50 to go in the period. Broncos lead 1-0 late here in the first. It's Jermaine with the puck. He'll cycle it back down in the right corner. Unable to control that was Gonzalez. Cabina turns it over, left circle, right in front, Gonzalez, and he couldn't get a stick on it nor escape. Blue Jackets fire it down the ice for an icing with 1.33 to go in the period. Faceoff's going to be to the left. A VTech post Decky. Allison on the draw with Fesh knocked into the right corner of the Blue Jackets zone. They'll continue to battle for that puck. Out near the half wall on the right side. Whip back to the Blue Jacket blue line. It'll be sent across to the left wing side. Sanborn banks it off the board. Rolls off the stick. But now here's Zimba. Zimba makes a move. Left circle. Zimba shot and a save by the goaltender Marcotte. Took a lot of work for Mitch to get down there. Just had to clear down the ice under a minute to go. Got another icing coming up with 57.8 seconds to go. Face off will be to the left of Marcotte. Allison will take that draw. Went up against Kistad, controlled by the Broncos. And sent down the ice once again for another icing by the Broncos with 49 seconds to go in our first period. Coming up in between periods, we'll review the stats. Also, check in on some of the other scores. See what we can find on that Hermantown Eden Prairie game. It's number one in Class A against number one in Double A. Face off to the left of Marcotte. Jermaine on the draw with Allison. And there's a check at center. Broncos have it. They'll bank it off the left wing boards in the Blue Jacket zone. Allison will grab it near the right wing half wall. Trying to clear it out, unable to do so. Pucking behind the Blue Jacket net. With it now is Janicic. Works it ahead to Allison. His pass is deflected. Goes right to Wicklin, who's got the only goal. Wicklin backhands it, cleared away by Sanborn. The battle continues. Wicklin with it. Left circle comes in, shot and a save. Getting that shot off with Schultz. It was actually Gonzalez on that shot. 
So with 12.1 seconds to go, we'll have another face-off. This one to the right of VTech. Knocked into the left corner. Centering pass. Tips over to the right corner. Five seconds left to go. Right point. Maybe one shot. That's blocked in front. Off the wrist shot by Hell. That'll do it for period number one. But the Blue Jackets found themselves outplayed for a lot of it as they trail by a score of one to nothing. And hopefully they can kind of square a few things away and make some adjustments in the locker room, which I'm sure it'll be talked about. But hopefully the Blue Jackets can come out in the second period and kind of put the falls on their heels a little bit. I think that's one thing that's been missing in this first period. And of course, keep in mind, though, we're playing with 15 kids. They're playing with a full complement of 20. That may have something to do with it as well at some point. All right, after one period of play, our score is International Falls 1, Hibbing Chisholm nothing. First intermission's on the way. It's Blue Jacket Hockey on 106.3 WMFG. One period of play here from the historic Hibbing Memorial Arena finds International Falls with the lead by a score of 1 to nothing. Blue Jackets took a penalty right off the bat. They were trying to do a shift change, and the penalty came at the 25 second mark. And at minute 53, Wicklin made the Blue Jackets pay for it as he got the unassisted power play goal. And that's his third of the year. And the Blue Jackets trailed one to nothing, and it would stay that way. Um, both teams, well, both teams had a few chances. The majority of the chances went the Broncos' way, but VTech's been pretty good in goal here tonight. Shots on goal, though, heavily in favor of the Broncos, 15-5. to five. That translates into 14 saves for VTech Postecki and five for Max Marcotte. One penalty in that period, and again, it was for too many men in the ice. It was served by Fink. And it resulted in a power play goal for the Broncos. So the Broncos are one for one in the power play. Blue Jackets have yet to see a power play. Looks like taking a look, I mean, uh, there's not a lot you can talk about as far as, you know, scoring in the first period. This is only a Blue Jackets second game, the fourth for the Falls. But the Blue Jackets and their opponents, Virginia in that last game, neither team scored the second. And the same kind of can be said for the Falls. They've been outscored 2-1 to one through three games in the second period as well. So hopefully some adjustments are going to be made in the Blue Jacket locker room. We're going to find a way to put more pressure on Marcotte. You're not going to win many ball games when you're only throwing five shots on goal on net at a time. We're going to have a little bit of an extended intermission here because we had the... Hibbing Chisholm figure skating club out. Did a little routine, so they're just now starting to resurface the ice. Blue Jackets after tonight will head up to Roseau tomorrow. And then they'll be off till Tuesday when they make the trip to Superior. And then they're basically home until January 10th. Or 13th, excuse me, when they got to go to Proctor. So they got a big stretch of home games coming up. It's going to be an intriguing kind of schedule, though, if you think about this. Because once we get back from Superior, then we have Pocasco, Carl, South St. Paul, Delano, Orono, Greenway, Nashua, Kiwat, and Rochester, Mayo, Eveleth, Gilbert, North Shore, and Hopkins all at home before we go down on that Monday night in the middle of January to, for that makeup game against Proctor. So that's uh, going to be a make or break time there. There's some quality teams in there. After tonight, though, International Falls is going to be off for almost a week. In fact, they'll host Proctor next Thursday as they'll actually have a couple of home games. Their next road trip will be in uh, War Road and the Christmas tournament. And after one period of play here from the historic Hibby Memorial Arena, it is 1-0 Falls on the Wicklin power play goal. Again, that came at 153 of period number one. Take another quick break. Come back and take a look at some of the other scores going on around the area. You're listening to Blue Jacket Hockey. And it's right here on KQ North 106.3 WMFG. And welcome back, everyone. The Blue Jackets are on the ice. The Broncos have been on the ice. And we'll get our second period underway. See if the Blue Jackets can get some quality scoring opportunities here in this period. 
Again, shots on goal, 15-5 in favor of the Broncos. Jack to be moving left to right this time. Hopefully they come up with a plan to be able to generate a little more offense. Out there for the Blue Jackets. And going to go with the pink line with Marshoff and Edmund. Back on D will be Sanborn and Janicic. Meanwhile, up front is going to be Bash, Smith, Sivanen, Kaler, and Hell on D. In the Broncos zone, just underway. Unable to clear. Shot doesn't get through from the left point. It comes right back to Janicic. His wrist shot's knocked down by Kaler. Kaler with the puck for the Broncos. He'll backhand it to the Blue Jacket blue line. Marshawk tried to get it. It's going to go along the end board where it's going to be grabbed by Sivanen. Now back the other way. Knocked off the stick of Marshawk to the right circle. Shots blocked off the wrister from the left circle by Jordan Smith. There's Smith with the puck in the backhand and another save. And a shot and a goal. The rebound was left loose. And just like that, another quick goal. And I want to say it was Jordan Smith did all that work. And it's going to make it 2 to nothing. And this will come at the 48-second mark. Balls lead to zip. And for Smith... That's his third of the year. Well, Bad just got the only assist on that, so it's two nothing. Now the Blue Jackets really got to get something going here. Kaler in behind the Bronco net sends it out near the left point. Loose puck's going to be grabbed by Jermaine. Jermaine gets drilled by Zimba at the Blue Jacket blue line. But the puck's controlled by the Broncos in the Blue Jackets zone. Wickland shot from the left point sails wide. It's actually not Wickland, that's Hell. He's got his jersey up, so I, on the back I couldn't tell if it was a 9 or an 8. Bouncing puck. Slap shot. Doesn't get through for Sari. Picked up by the Broncos. Allison tries to get to the loose puck. Cabina sends it around. Kemp will pick it up near the left wing half wall. Kemp works it up ahead. Hands it off to Lehman. Lehman lost the puck at center. From the ground, Jermaine battling. But coming away is Kemp. Kemp drives towards the net off the right wing half wall. He's ridden off the play up against the end boards. Lewis Puck's going to be grabbed by Schultz. At the left wing half wall, Schultz regains control. And now the Broncos with the puck. It's Gonzalez. Gonzalez battling one-on-one. -on -one, couldn't get by Lehman. Allison with the puck. Comes off the right wing wall. Broncos take the shot from the right circle. And it sails over the net. Fortunately for us, getting a decent shot off was Braden Dremel, one of the many seniors on this squad. 14.37 to go. Second period, 2-0 Broncos. And all the play is down in our end of the rink again. Blue Jackets stuck in their defensive zone. Blue Jackets do clear it out of their own zone. Janicic was able to get it, but the Broncos will go back and pick it up. And taken away. Nicely done by Edmonds. Wasn't able to get much on it as he took it away at the left circle. But he did force Marcotte to make a save. 14 again, 14 10 to go. Period number two is 2 0. In favor of the Broncos. Face off to the right of Marcotte. Tied up in the circle. Broncos will come away with it. Out to center. Into the Blue Jackets own by Sivanen. Cabina's there to take it away. Marshawk working down the right wing. He's at center ice. He'll send it into the Broncos zone. 
giving chase is Edmonds. Edmonds and Kaler going to the left corner of the Broncos zone. Lewis Buck's going to be grabbed, though, by Sari. Sari worked it ahead. Kept alive at the right point by Allison. Sari sends it around. Now in behind the net, Edmonds has it. Edmonds fights off a Kaler check. Edmonds with the puck centering pass right in front. And the Broncos can't clear. Marshawk tried to get to it, unable to. Cleared down in the Blue Jacket blue line by Kaler. Edmonds will send it back to Lehman. Lehman to Cabina. Cross ice pass to Edmonds at center. Edmonds will flip it in. Line change Blue Jackets. Mark will have to stop that with his glove. And he'll hand it off to his Bronco teammate. Taken away by Zimba. Zimba near the left point. Layman's there as well to help. Broncos can't clear it. Zimba comes off the wall on the left side. Shot. Blocker save. Mark out. Back the other way with the puck is Sivan in. Sivan in the center. Backhands it in. Line change coming up for the Broncos with 12.49 to go in period two. It's a 2-0 Bronco lead. And they got Allison at the blue line to the right circle. He'll stop. Sets it up. Tried to get it over to Kemp. Kemp was tied up nicely. Centering pass by Allison. Jumps a bunch of sticks. Comes to the left wing half off. Kemp sends it down. To Zimba. Had it taken away. Comes to the half wall. Now near the right point. Lehman throws it towards the net. Tipped by Zimba just wide. Zimba to Kemp. Kemp tried to work it back to Zimba in front of the net. Pucks loose in the left circle. Out near the blue line. Lehman kept it alive. But now the Broncos come away with it. Back the other way. And offside on the carry with Sari. 12.06 to go. Period two. It's a 2-0 Bronco lead. shots on goal in favor of the Broncos. On the draw, just tied up. Now coming away with that puck, though, is Schultz. Schultz brings it across on the right wing. His shot sails wide. Taking a whack at it, it bounces over the net from Skifstad. Then it's going to roll to the left of Vitek. He'll just play down and freeze it. Face off to the left of Ozdecki. Allison will take the draw with Schultz. Back out to the right point. Kept alive by the Broncos. Now the Blue Jackets come away with it. Here's Zimba. Zimba into the zone. Stick handles. Gets a backhand off. Save Marcotte. Not able to clear. Kept alive momentarily. By Sanborn. Sanborn battling at center for that loose puck. Broncos come away with it. Back check by Zimba foils the plan. Broncos still with the puck, though. It's cleared away. Nicely done by Cabina into the left corner. Now at the half wall, thrown towards the net. Not much on it from Bendeke. And another easy save for Postecki. 11-18 to go here in period two. That's a 2-0 Bronco lead. Shots now 18-8. Face off to the right of VTech. On the draw is going to be Besh. As well as Fink. And it's knocked in the left corner. It's going to be grabbed and fired around by the Blue Jackets' Janicic. Comes out near the right point. Broncos are able to hold the zone, send it back deep along the end boards. In behind the net, the battle continues. Besh was trying to get to the loose puck. But coming away with it's Janicic. He's the center. Poked off his stick by Smith. Sent to the blue line of the Broncos. They'll back in it back down in the Blue Jackets zone. And Bash will give chase with Cabina. Bash comes away with its centering pass. A spin move, and it goes wide from Smith. Puck loose right there in front of the net. Now it's cleared out near the left point. Shot put on. That's knocked down by Fink. Fink works it ahead. He's got Kemp. Kemp working one-on-one on the right wing. Kemp shot. And it's blocked by Erickson, the defenseman. Sorry, back the other way down the left wing for the Broncos. Sorry into the left corner. He left it at the half wall on the left side. Unable to gather it in, though, was Bash. Sent back to the Bronco blue line where Gonzalez will pick it up. Zimba took it away. 
And Allison's going to work it over to Kemp. Here's Kemp back to Allison. Allison stopped. Tried to work it to Zimba. Zimba finally has it. Over to Kemp, left circle. Back to Zimba. Zimba tried to get the shot off and in, and it's a save. No goal. That's off its mooring. And now we got some shoving going on. Allison's going to go off, as well as Gonzalez matching rough, I'm sure. And this will come at the 6.58 mark. We'll get the official call. I didn't see what it was as I'm writing in the scorebook, but we'll have matching. More than likely, they're going to be rough. So we'll still have five on five hockey. For two, two, two. Base house is going to be to the left of Marcotte. And bouncing puck in front of the net. Cleared away, but not out. Kept alive. Cabina at the left point. Broncos. So slashing goes to Allison and a rough will go to Gonzalez. Play continues in the Blue Jacket zone. I need to hire a guy to write in my scorebook so I don't have to put my head down. Knocked out at center by Edmonds. Broncos, though, trying to regain control. But the Blue Jackets deny him. Carried across on the right side, skating in. And ridden off the play was Kemp. And it rolls in on the goaltender, Marcotte. He'll just reach down and freeze it in the paint. Nice defensive work by senior defenseman Kaler to cut Kemp off as he was trying to cut in. So 9.05 to go, second period. It's a 2-0 lead for the fall if you're listening to Blue Jacket Hockey. Right here on KQ North, 106.3 WMFG. Having a service of Midwest Communications. Golfed in the left corner from the right point by Janicich. And going down hard behind the net are a couple players, including Andrican, who's seeing a shift here tonight. Here's Smith, now to the Blue Jacket Blue Line. And there's a mugging right there on Kemp. Right at the Blue Line, Kemp got mugged, grabbed around the head. And Zimba's talking to the ref about it, saying, well, where was the call? to go, second period, 2-0 Broncos. Face off control by the Broncos, sent deep by Sari. Golfed around to the half wall on the far side. Here's Kemp to center. Kemp tries to squeeze through 2D, unable to do so. Coming in, and that's checked by Andrew Can in the left corner. Sari will pick up the loose puck for the Broncos, and he'll clear it down the ice. Back to get it for the Blue Jackets is Janicic. He'll rattle it around the boards out near the right point. And it's sent out to neutral by Zimba. Loose box grab by Seven and Seven in a wrist shot from the left circle. Rebound left out. And over skating it for the Broncos. Right there trying to get that rebound with Jackson Germain. There's Germain in the right corner. Tied up along the end ball with Kemp. Broncos now into the left corner. Sanborn trying to dig a loose. Had a little help there from Janicic. Sends it to the right wing half wall. It's knocked down, though, by, I believe that was Hell, who had pinched down. And a whistle. Face off will be to the left of Vitek Gozdecki. 7.34 to go, period two. Blue Jackets trail 2-0. Shots now 20-10. Five apiece for both squads here in the second period. Goes Decky. 
Seen, seen a few shots here in this game. There's another one right off the bat. Centering pass. Whipped on in front by Skistat. Looks like the net came off its mooring, and it did. So we'll have another face off to the left. Of VTAC post decking. Their discussion to make sure that's where they wanted to do it, and that's where it's going to be. Fink on the draw once again. Comes out to the right point. Wrist shots knocked down in traffic. Kabina had it. Knocked off his stick to the end boards. Dremel with the puck. Oh, we got a penalty coming up. And it's going to be, what, a... You're going to get him for boarding? This one's going to be called on Fink. Let's see what they call. Two-minute cross-check. So Fink goes off. This will come at 9.50. Power play number two for the Broncos. Third penalty of the game for the Blue Jackets. Face off to the left of VTech. Blue Jackets will send it around. Kept alive at the left point. At the half wall on the left side. Back to Wickland. Wickland battles with Allison along the boards on the near side. Back to the left point. Back to Wickland, left circle. His shot's knocked down by Zimba. And the Blue Jackets, Allison, comes away with it. Allison, the center, tries to cut in. Left it for Zimba. Zimba, oh, no, that was Kemp right there. He got a penalty coming up on the Broncos. And a hook. That'll negate that. It's going off is going to be Jermaine. Come at 10, 21. And now it's a little four on four hockey coming up. For a minute and a half, then the Blue Jackets have a very, very, very short 30 second power play. Face off to the left of Marcotte, controlled by the Broncos. Here's Sari skating down the left side to center, throws it in on nets, knocked into the left corner. They're going to call it on Kalar now. At first, Jermaine was going over. So Kalar picked it up. 6.20 to go in the period. 2 nothing here in the second for the Broncos. Tied up along the end boards in the Blue Jackets zone. Kemp had it momentarily. Centering pass up high. Shot put on from the slot by Smith. Goes wide. Again, four on four hockey for 54 more seconds. Shot put on, saved by VTech. We have a face off now to the left. So goes Decky. Dremel will take the draw with Allison. Allison wins the draw with the puck. For the moment, for the Blue Jackets, is Cabina. Works it out to center. Knocked down here. Sorry. Sorry sends it in. Bounces in behind the net. Cabino send it around to the far side. Here's Kemp. Kemp avoids the check. Works it ahead to Zimba. Zimba has Allison. Zimba makes a move. A shot. Oh, and a save by Marcotte. Twenty-six seconds to go in four-on-four four hockey. Five thirty-five to go, second period. Two nothing Broncos. Face off to the left of Marcotte, back into the right corner. It'll be grabbed by Schultz. Schultz, at least with a little help, gets it out to neutral from Wickland. Back the other way. Here comes Cabina. Cabina centering pass, no one's home. Out near the left point, Cabina sends it low to Allison. Allison's pass back out to the point is taken away. And here comes Wickland with the puck. And now the Blue Jackets on a power play for 28 seconds. Their first of the game. Kemp with the puck. Kemp at center. He'll bring it across. No, he'll send it in deep. Marcotte will stop it behind the net. Broncos. 
Had it momentarily, trying to dig a loose as Edmonds. Coming away with that puck, Dremel. And Dremel will fire it down the ice. That'll take care of the power play with four seconds to go. And we're going to be back to five on five hockey. Centering pass from Janicic doesn't connect. And back the other way at three on one. Here's Bash left circle. Sets it up in front. Tipped in on by Sari. And it's three nothing. Bash threw it towards the net after he looked like he was going to let her rip from the left circle. And it's three nothing. And this will come at the 12-33 mark. And for Sari, that's his first goal of the year. So Besh gets a lone assist on that. And it's 3-0 Broncos with 4 27 to go. Blue Jackets now being outshot 25 to 11 here in this contest. Banked out to neutral and backhanded right back into the Blue Jacket zone by Bash. And a whistle. I believe that would have been a delayed offside. Face-off comes at the Blue Jacket blue line. Broncos had it momentarily. Now they'll grab it. Sorry. Sorry back in his own zone once again. Flips it out to neutralize. Knocked down by Zimba. Here's Zimba to the right circle. Got a little help. Zimba centers it. Unable to get to it was Allison as it goes through the blue paint. Zimba, half wall, left wide. He's got like three Broncos right around him. Zimba trying to take it away. Almost did again. Which puck is Smith. He'll cross on the right wing in the Blue Jacket zone. Bouncing puck corralled by Bench. He'll send it deep. In behind the net with Sanborn. Sends it over near the right wing half ball. Kemp pushes it into the right corner to Cabina. Cabinas. Boy, he tried to clear it around a net. And it was knocked in front of the net by the Broncos. They had another opportunity there. 3.27 to go in period two. It's 3-0. Nine falls. That's flipped down into the Broncos zone. Line change for the Blue Jackets. Picking that loose puck up is sorry. Then he overskates it and he throws it down the ice for an icing. 3.13 to go, second period. Face off to the left of the goaltender, Marcotte. Comes out to the right point where it'll be sent deep. Blue Jackets need to get something going desperately. Working down the left side with Jermaine poked off his stick. Janice with it, sends it around. Giving chase with Marshawk. He'll get to the blue line before Schultz and sends it deep into the Broncos zone. Schultz had it poked off his stick. Comes out near the right point. And back the other way now is Gonzalez. Gonzalez, left circle, centers it in front again. The shot doesn't get off the stick of Wicklin. And we got a whistle. Vitek's helmet came off. Two thirty-four to go. Period number two. It's a three-nothing Bronco lead. And it looks like VTEX all right. So faceoff's going to be down to the left of VTEX with 2:34 to go. Shots on goal, 25 to 11. Being outshot 10-6 here in this period. Looks like one of the refs got a cut on his chin as well. He's getting doctored and patched up over there. All right, 
right, finally we're going to get that face off now to the left of Bo Stecky. And the Blue Jackets control the puck. Here's Kemp. Stick handles to the blue line. He's across on the left side. Gets the shot off from the left circle. And another save by Marcotte. Boy, the Blue Jackets are going to really need to figure something out here. If we don't get one late in this second period, we're really going to have to put the, the foot down and figure a way to stay in that offensive zone and get some pressure on Marcotte. Sanborn, got to go back to the bench. Benefit will stay out. Kemp will take the draw. And that draw is won by Dremel. It'll be cleared down the ice. We've got an icing coming up on the Broncos with 2.18 to go. And we'll have another faceoff down here to the right of the goaltender, Marcotte. Allison will take the draw with Besh this time. Allison wins the draw. Quick shot off the faceoff by Kemp and a save. Oh, and right there to goal by Kemp. Boy, we needed that. That's going to be huge. Zimba was right there, camped out, couldn't get the rebound, but it went right out to Kemp who buried it in the Blue Jackets. Get on board, and boy, did they need that badly. Makes it three to one. And this will come at 14-47. And for Kemp, first of the year. Blue Jackets definitely needed that to happen. Now they're gonna have a little momentum here heading into the locker room. Sent back into the Broncos zone and clear back out to the Blue Jacket end. Back to pick it up. Sanborn circles the net. He'll be battling in behind the net. Puck taken away by Gonzalez. Back out to the blue line. Bouncing puck. Blue Jackets go the other way. Here's Allison. And we got a whistle. And we got a penalty. Cross check. Crosscheck going to go on Sandboard. This will come at 15-10. And another power play for the Falls. Their third of the night. They have one power play goal. Blue Jackets will try to clear it around. Kept alive at the left point. No. Unable to do so. So it's sent down the ice by the Blue Jackets near the right corner. Kemp had the puck momentarily. Now it's Schultz. Schultz will work it up on the right wing. Wicklin gets taken out of the play by Zimba. They both go down along the end board. Back out to the Kaler. Left wing side to Dremel. Dremel sends it into the left corner. Wicklin with the puck at the half wall. Wicklin to the left circle. Wicklin high slot. Shot weakly gets through traffic. Knocked away into the right corner. Kemp to Zimba. Zimba clears it down the ice. A minute left to go in the period. And we got a minute 10 to go in the power play. Big check by Allison on Dremel. And then Dremel comes back and hits Allison. Zimba a shot that's blocked in front. Kemp a shot that's blocked in front. Dremel's too busy trying to whack that Blue Jacket player. And the Blue Jackets had three opportunities, but they were all blocked. Knocked off the stick of Beneke at center. 30 seconds to go in the period. Sent deep by Wicklin. Centering pass. No, they just tried to put it in front of the net. That's Beneke. Beneke goes down and a whistle. Then Marshall gets in a shoving match. And 
And we'll get a rough coming up on who? Just Marshawn? Well, that doesn't help any. And this will come at 16.44. So it's a five on three now for 27 seconds. Well, we just got to get these 16 seconds out of here and we'll worry about the rest at the beginning of the third period. In the left corner of the Blue Jackets zone. Blue Jackets trail, 3-1. Benneke, near the right wing half wall. Gets it out to the right point to Smith. Smith shots blocked by Edmonds. That'll do it for period two, but there's still going to be ten seconds of a five on three coming up here in the third. But boy, oh boy, the Blue Jackets finally get on board, but then they take two penalties, and we're going to have to start the third period killing that off when we need to be concentrating on scoring more goals. But two periods of play are in the books, and our score, it is International Falls 3, and the Blue Jackets 1. Our second remission's on the way. You are listening to Blue Jacket Hockey right here on 106.3 WMFG. And welcome back, everyone. Two periods of play are now in the books here from Historic Hippie Memorial Arena and Blue Jackets Trail by a score of three to nothing. And it was uh, another one of them periods where the Blue Jackets, they just couldn't seem to get things going. Meanwhile, the Broncos, they look kind of look like they're on cruise control. But they score quickly into the second period. 48 seconds in, Smith picks up his third. And Bash got the assist. That made it 2 to nothing. Then at 12.33, Sari got his first of the year. Bash, another assist, made it 3 to nothing. But then the Blue Jackets, Kemp, buries one from near the left circle. His first of the year and his first varsity goal. They came at 14.47. Zimba and Allison on the assist. And that's where we are after two. Three to one. Shots in that second period. Blue Jackets had 9 for a 2-period total of 14. The Falls had 12 for a 2-period total of 27. So saves in that second period. Vitek Bostecki had 10. He's got 24 for 2 periods. 8 for Marcotte. He has a 2-period total of 13. Penalties in the second period. Blue Jackets 3 for 6. They now have 4 for 8 on the game. Broncos have 2 for 4. And through 2 periods, that's what they have. 2 penalties for 4 minutes. The Blue Jackets will be on a 5-on-3 for 10 seconds. And then it's going to be still another minute 34 of a Bronco power play. And uh, I was hoping that we could get into the locker room being down 3-1 with nothing bad happening. And hopefully take that momentum off that Kemp goal and build off that and maybe create some more offensive opportunities because that's one thing we're we're really lacking in this game right now and that is offensive opportunities and hopefully we can change that here in the third but we will have to kill off a five on three for 10 seconds to open up period number three all right we're going to step aside take another break come back and look for some scores uh, interesting one down in eden prairie that's all coming up next you're listening to blue jacket hockey on 106.3 wmfg Leading the way for the Blue Jackets is Haley Hawkinson tonight with 24 points on the evening. And we'll try to keep this going here for you. It's 44-38 girls. I'll refresh it every now and then. It'll be on the computer to my left, and we'll track that game as well. All right, Blue Jackets will be moving right to left here in period number three. And again, they're going to have to kill off a five-on-three for 10 seconds, and then it's still a minute 34 of a power play. All right. Out for the Blue Jackets on the five-on-three is going to be Allison Kemp and Zimba. Meanwhile, the Broncos are going to counter... It looks like Gonzalez, Skifstad, Wicklin, 
Bramo and Kaler. And here we go, and it's going to be knocked to the blue line. Wicklin sends it in. Six seconds to go in that five on three. Kemp just going to try to tie it up. And he does. And here we go. It's back down into the Broncos zone. So the fourth power play for the Broncos. Minute 27 to go for that. And just underway period three. Broncos with a 3-1 lead. Worked ahead. And an icing. Never touching that puck with Gonzalez. Minute 17 to go in the Bronco power play. one Bronco lead. Here's Zimba left point. Just throws it towards the net. That's knocked down by Wicklin. Wicklin works it ahead now. Gonzalez into the Blue Jacket zone. Taken away though by Sanborn. At the half wall on the left side with that puck with Skistad. Into the left corner. Sanborn tried to tie him up. Couldn't do it. Dremel at the left point. Left wing half wall. Sends it back down deep again. Sanborn takes the Bronco out of the play, and Zimba clears it down the ice. 45 seconds to go in that power play. A couple of players switch up for the Broncos. Left wing pass. Here's Kaler. Kaler across on the left wing in the Blue Jacket zone. Avoids the check from Kemp, but then sends it around, and Zimba's going to pick it up at center. No. He knocks it down. Zimba brings it across. Three on two. Shot. Big rebound. Left out there by the goaltender, Mark Hodges. It rolls into the left corner of the Broncos zone. Broncos regain control with 15 and a half to go in the game. Still 12 to go in that power play. Carried across on the left side. Benicky. Benicky hands it off. No, he kept it and then sent it around deep. And behind the net is Bash. Bash tried to get to it. Now we're back to five on five. And Zimba fires it down the ice for an icing. 15-11 to go in the game. 3-1 Broncos. Shots 27-15 in favor of the Broncos. Face off will be to the left of the goaltender. Vitek post decking. And Blue Jackets had it momentarily. And they regain control. Then it's poked away once again by Smith. At that left wing half wall in the Blue Jacket zone. Sent down in behind the net. Cabina will work it up on the near boards to Edmonds near the right wing half wall. Edmonds back to Cabina. Cabina, cross ice pass. They'll work it up ahead. Marshock right on the tape. Gets it to Fink. Here's Fink working down the right side. Fink with some speed. Fink checked off the play near the left corner. Edmonds is there to help out. Broncos giving chase. And with the puck was Erickson. And then backhanded up into the bench by Sivanen. Went right up into the Bronco bench. 14 and a half to go. 3-1 Broncos. Off to the left of Marcotte. Shot off on the faceoff by Kemp and a save by Marcotte. 14 26 to go. 49 43, Blue Jackets with the lead. Princeton trying to climb back into this one. Into the right corner. That's going to be sent all the way around and down the ice and icing by the Broncos. Off. Blue Jackets have the puck. Kemp ridden off the play. Top of the right circle. It just slowly rolls into Marcotte, who reaches down and freezes it again. Face off once again to the left of the goaltender. It'll be Dremel and Ellison on the draw. Now Kemp comes in as a, Allison got tossed because uh, Zimba gave a little whack to Kaler there. <laughs> Knocked down, but it comes right to the Broncos. Shots blocked. 
Mike Sanborn and Arista from Skifstad at the right circle. At the left point. Shot. The flex wide. Zimbo will pick it up. Banks it off the near boards out near the right wing half wall. Allison couldn't clear. There's a wrist shot from the blue line. Goes wide from Skistad. And it comes off the end boards and reaching down is VTech to freeze it to his left. 13.42 to go. Blue Jackets trail 3 0. Short turnaround and a long bus drive for them tomorrow morning as they got to get on the bus and head to Roseau for a 3 o'clock puck drop against the Rams. Coming in to take the draw now for the Broncos is Smith as Besh got tossed. Cross ice to Marshawk. Marshawk sends it in. Marcotte tried to stop it behind the net. Didn't work. Comes out near the left point. Cabina worked it ahead. And with the puck now is Fink. Fink a backhand. And a save by Marcotte. Fink gets it back out to the right point. Oh, and unable to hold it was Janicic. And now diving play. Nicely done by Cabina. As breaking in was Jordan Smith trying to get the breakaway. 13-10 to go in the game. 3-1 International Falls. Bouncing puck comes to the half wall on the right side. Edmonds with it. He'll carry it back into the right corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Worked it up ahead. It was behind Fink. It's going to be an icing as it goes all the way down the ice. So with 12.57 to go, it remains a 3-1 Bronco lead. Shots 27-18 to now. Blue Jackets out shooting the Broncos 4-0 in this period. We need to start putting it in the back of the net. Get the puck up high, top of the right circle. Sails wide from Schultz. Allison left wing half wall. Sanborn battles with Schultz in behind the Blue Jacket net. Schultz comes away with it. Schultz gets it right back. Centering pass. That's going to be cleared away by Kemp. Kemp bangs it off the boards. Zimbo with the puck. Had it taken away. Broncos still keep it in the Blue Jacket zone. Sanborn goes down, shot from the left wing half wall area, sails wide. Zimba left it there, shot put on from the right wing half wall by Germain, pushed aside by the stick of the goaltender, Vitek Podeski. Zimba avoids a check. Zimba trying to work it up the near wall. Now they'll go cross ice to Kemp once again. Here's Kemp. Kemp across on the right wing. Kemp looking, looking. He's going to leave it for Allison. Allison tried to send it back to Kemp, and it's cleared back out to the Blue Jacket blue line by the Broncos. Lehman off the left wing board. Zimba golfs it in. Blue Jackets will finish up a line change here with 11.38 to go, and the Broncos leading 3-1. Down the other way, Kaler. Banks it off the boards, giving chase. There's going to be Dremel, and it's still going to be an icing. 11 and a half to go. Over at the high school, the Blue Jacket girls now have a 52-43 lead. In the second half. Face off to the right of the goaltender. Marcotte. Broncos at center. It's Dremel. Banked off the left wing boards. A little bit too far in front of Beneke. Cabina sends it around. He gets it to Marshawk. Marshawk along the end boards in the Blue Jackets zone. Sends it into the right corner. Worked ahead by Janicic to Edmonds. Edmonds battling Dremel. And Janicic will come away with it. Janicic to center. Three on two. Oh, and he left it. And Edmonds was already too deep on that drop pass. Coming back the other way. As Kabina again slid to deny Skipstad a, a shot at all. Here's Marshawk coming back the other way, top of the right circle. Shot easy save, Marcotte. 10.44 to go in counting, 3-1 Broncos. Working down the right wing is Sari. Sari, top of the right circle. Shot gets through, save VTech. He'll just reach down and freeze it with 10.33 to go. Broncos maintain that lead, 3-1. Shots 28-19. Now 
Allison will take the draw with Bash. Bash tried to send it towards the net, goes wide. Wayman golfs it around, kept alive at the right point by Kinger. He's going to carry it all the way down into the right corner. Blue Jackets trying to come away with it. Puck Lewis, right circle. And finally, Kemp with the puck. To Sanborn. Long pass down, nice. Allison will pick it up in the left corner, no icing. He'll skate around the Bronco net to the right corner. Back out to the right point. One-timer Sanborn. Easy save. Marka comes out near the left point. Lehman throws it on net. That's a puck it. Oh, and it just went wide. I think Kemp had an opportunity there. And then falling down was Bash. But the Blue Jackets still maintain control. There's a shot that's blocked from the slot off the stick of Zimba. They tried to center it back to Zimba. And now the Broncos come back the other way with 9.44 to go. It's Smith into the zone. Smith, Lehman's going off for a trip. Boy, we just can't stay out of the penalty box to save our soul here tonight, can we? Back on the power play. It's going to be the fifth one of the night. As Layman's going off for a trip. This will come at 7.22. Well, and the way this game is going, you think if Broncos get one here, it could be game over. Here we go. At the left point, Dremel. One-timer by Kaler, whipped on it from out near the top of the right circle. Kaler throws it towards the net, tipped away by Kubina. And that centering pass is going to deflect all the way back down in the Broncos zone back to pick it up is going to be Dremel. 9.14 to go in the game. 3-1 Broncos. Minute 34 to go in the Bronco power play. Shots blocked from the right circle off the stick of Wicklin. He started it with the power play goal. They go down in the right corner. And there's a slap shot from Kaler goes wide. Thrown towards the net. Save Vitek. 1.21 to go in the power play for the Broncos. You have 8.58 to go in the game. And it's a 3-1 Lead in favor of International Falls. Jim Townley and Adam Schaefer barking at the referee. They didn't like something that wasn't called. Face off one by Kemp. Not cleared out though. Kept alive at the left point by Jermaine. Adeline Sanborn coming around in front of it. Goal right between the legs. It's Wicklin. It's a power play goal. His second of the game and his second power play goal of the night. And that makes it 4-2. And I don't know. Um, I don't know if we can come back from that. I hope so. Just the way this night's been unfolding, though. That's going to make it tough. Fourth goal of the year for Wicklin. And it's another power play goal. So two for five on the power play for the Broncos tonight. And this comes at 8-13. See if we get an assist. So Jermaine and Bash on the assist. But we got eight and a half to go. 8-32 to be precise. And the Blue Jackets trail by three. Here's Kemp in the left corner. He's got the lone goal. Trying to center it in the left circle. Over to Allison. Nick comes to the left corner. And now it's chipped out to the Blue Jacket blue line. And with the puck. For the Blue Jackets. With Janicic. Now Kemp has it. Kemp will stick handle the center. Now to the Bronco blue line. Trying to make a maneuver and get by. And he lost the puck. He regains control. Put it in front of the net. And it's cleared away. Centering pass out front. Kemp throws it on net. Another save, Marcotte. Kemp got that loose puck out in the left circle and put a quick shot on. Wasn't able to get a lot of mustard on it, but he got the shot off nonetheless. Here's Kemp. Pass it behind Zimba. And it'll be flipped into the Blue Jacket zone. It should be an icing, and it is with 7.41 to go. Shots 30-21. Blue Jackets need to start capitalizing. On their opportunities here, time's getting low. 7.41 to go in the game. Face off to the right of Marcotte. 
going to be Fink on the draw as he'll battle, and it comes out to the blue line. Sanborn sent it over to Cabina. His shot went wide from out near the left point. And Fink tried to center it, knocked down by the Broncos. Broncos get it to neutralize anyway. Kemp, or Cabina, not Cabina, excuse me. Fink tried to get it and fell down. Brought across on the right wing. Haven't heard much on a Tucker Hill since the first period. He tried to get a shot off, didn't work. Fink back the other way. Taylor runs him off the play. Taylor flips it back down in the Blue Jackets zone, and apparently now the Broncos are content to just ice it with 6.59 to go. Blue Jacket girls up now in the second half, 59 to 46. Haley Hawkinson made two of two free throws just now. Having a big game for the Blue Jackets. It's a big section matchup. They'll have North Branch tomorrow afternoon. Cleared around to the near side. In behind the net. Schultz with the puck for the Broncos. He'll send it to the near corner where Erickson will flip it down in the Blue Jacket zone. It's going to be gathered in. Here's Skifstad. He's shot deflected up and out of play by the sticker Cabina. 6.39 to go. Base off's going to be the left of VTEC. Shots 30 to 21 in favor of the Broncos. The Blue Jackets are starting to creep back up in the shot department, but we need to have a couple real quick here to find the back of the net. It's knocked out by Camp into the Broncos zone. Back to chase it is going to be Schultz. Schultz will pick it up. He'll leave it in the left corner for Benicky. Benicky will chase it over to the right corner, and Schultz will grab it once again. Steal by Allison. Centering pass. Kemp to Zimba. Oh, and Zimba shot it from the slot up over the top of the net. Clear back out to neutralize. It's going to be grabbed by Dremel. Dremel gets a shot off. Save. Vitek. Tucked in behind the Blue Jacket net. Now into the right corner. 5.57 to go in this game. Broncos with a 4-1 lead. Tied up in the right corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Centering. Green pass and a goal. That was, I believe, going to be Tucker Hell cheating way down from his defensive left side. And it is. It's Hell with the goal, and it's 5-1. And this will come at 11-13. And for Hell, I'm pretty sure that's his first of the year. And it is. Benicki and Smith on the assist. Well, it's now 5 1 with five and a half to go. Marshawk got drilled behind the play. And going off is going to be hell. I was writing in the book, so I didn't see what happened, but he may be getting ejected. Let's see what happens here. There's a discussion going on right now. Zimbo will come over. Put them in the box so they're not going to eject them. So Hell's going to go off for the falls. This will come at 11.33. Definitely going to be more than two. The way they had that discussion, I would assume it's going to be at least a five. And it is. It's a five-minute major. George McDonald wants to know what's going on now. So listen to Blue Jacket Hockey right here on 106.3 WMFG, having a service of Midwest Communications. And to 
discussion still going on. I would think that the way Marshawk just whipped his gloves off and bent over, it must be contact to the head. We're not sure other than we'll find out momentarily, but the Blue Jackets will basically have the rest of this period on a power play. Again, it's their second power play attempt for the year. Blue Jackets now 0-4-4 on the power play. So they gave him a five on the slashers. Kemp, Kemp to the left circle. Shot goes over the head of Marcotte. Zimba at the right half wall. Five minutes to go in the game. Zimba shot. Blocker save. Marcotte comes near the left wing half wall. Sam Bourne sends it deep to Allison. Near the left corner, Allison avoids Kaler. And Kemp, a little give and go, cutting back inside. Got the shot off, but no go on that. 4.40 to go in the game. Blue Jackets on a five-minute power play. There's still 4.10 to go in that power play, but the Blue Jackets trail 5-1. We need to start burying them here real quickly. And now we turn it over in a lackadaisical pass at center. Kaler's going to pick it up. Near the left wing half wall, his shot's blocked. He'll just send it back out to center where Allison had it. Allison's waiting, needs some help. Works across to Edmonds. Edmonds, high slot area, shot is blocked. Off the stick of Sanborn. Allison looking, circles the net on the right side. Back to Sanborn, back to Allison. Allison spins away. Allison right circle, sends it down low, pushed towards the net, and reaching down to freeze it was Marcotte. I think Edmonds thought that Kemp was actually going to cut in. 3.30 to go in the power play. 3.57 to go. Blue Jackets call a timeout. They trail 5 to nothing. Three thirty to go in that power play for the Blue Jackets. Shots are now 32-24. We have 3.57 to go in the game, but the Blue Jackets are down by four, five to one. And it's a final over at the gym. The Blue Jackets defeat Princeton 62 to 50. Congratulations, girls. Good luck tomorrow as you take on North Branch. Well, let's see what we can do coming off this timeout. Faceoff's going to be down here to the left of Marcotte, but like I said, there's 3.30 to go yet and that five-minute major to hell. But there's only 3.57 to go in the game, so we're going to need to score some quick goals here. Retech still in goal. Faceoff one by Allison. Zimba. He's sent deep and around by Sanborn. Allison works it to Edmonds. Zimba up high. Back to Edmonds, top of the right circle. His shot for Flex, I believe, a way from the net. Back out to neutralize. Zimbo left it. Sanborn had it. Kemp trying to bring it across. It's going to be flipped by Cabina. Cabina will battle with Dremel. And it's just golfed out to the Blue Jacket blue line. Zimba back to get it as he avoids Besh. And an empty net now for the extra attacker. And who has possession of the puck but the Broncos. That's banked to the Blue Jacket blue line. Just pushed away by Sanborn. Kemp with it. Kemp to the left circle. Centering pass. And it jumps over the stick of Sanborn. Back out to neutralize. Blue Jackets got to go back and regroup. Empty net for the Blue Jackets. 2.55 to go in the game. 2.28 to go in the power play for the Blue Jackets. From the right corner. Throwing down the ice. And just misses the net. But getting there first 
is going to be Sari. Sari tied up by Sanborn in the right corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Sent around, and Bash quickly goes over. Edmonds there. There's Edmonds. Now they'll work it up to Zimba. Zimba at center on the left side. And they'll work it ahead to Allison. Loose pocket center, sent back in. And there's a shot thrown on net, and a long goal. And it's going to be an empty netter. And let's see who that is. I want to say it might be Wicklin, and if it is, he's got a hat trick here tonight. No, actually, it's not. That is Sari. His second of the night. Fourteen. Fourteen forty-one. It's a short-handed goal, and it's now six-one. Still a minute forty-three to go in the Blue Jacket power play. Vitex back in net at center, thrown towards the net by the Blue Jackets. Janicic. Puck clear back out to center ice. Back to pick it up for the Blue Jackets is Lehman. Out to center to Edmonds. That's in the skates of Peyton Taylor, and it's going to be sent right back in by the Broncos. Gonzalez took it away in the right corner. Gonzalez trying to work it ahead. Minute 40 to go in the contest. Blue Jackets going to drop the 0-2 on the season, and the Falls will get to 500. Banked off the left boards by Jermaine into the Blue Jackets zone. At center, Allison had it momentarily. Schultz with the puck. He'll send it back in deep once again. Vitek stops it. Gives it to Lehman. Near side. They work it to Taylor. Taylor's seen his first action here tonight. He'll flip it into the zone with a minute six to go. Still 38 seconds to go in the Blue Jacket power play, but that shorthanded empty net goal sealed the deal. 6-1 Broncos. Back the other way is Smith. Smith hands it off. Shot goes wide from Wicklin near the top of the right circle. With the puck is Janicic. Janicic had it taken away. Janicic gets it back. Three on two the other way. Janicic to the left circle. Gets a shot off saved by Marcotte with 38 seconds to go. Well, this is really not the way we wanted things to go for the Blue Jackets, but... They got some time to kind of work on it and see what they can do. 38 seconds ago, face off to the right of Marcon. 11 seconds ago in the Blue Jacket power play on Hill's five-minute major. Champion point tipped in and a goal. I think Allison got the tip in on a wrister from the left point by Kubina. And it's 6-2. to two. 16-26, time of the goal. Sabina put the wrist shot on from the left point. It got deflected in front. And I want to say it was Allison, and if that's the case, that'll be his first of the year. We'll get it momentarily. And it was a power play goal as well. So we're at full strength for 22 seconds. VTech plays it off the end board, sends it around to the far side. Out to center. Okay, Zimba got the other one. That's going to be our final six to two. So the Blue Jackets are going to drop this one here today. Again, they closed the gap somewhat in the shot department. But it wasn't enough here tonight. Blue Jackets going to have to think about this, probably watch a little game film on the bus. It's a four-hour ride over to Roseau for their game tomorrow afternoon. But we'll come back with our post-game show. Our Final once again. It is International Fall 6, Blue Jackets 2, and you're listening to Blue Jacket Hockey on KQ North 106.3 WMFG. 